everybody and thank you so much for tuning into Glam Life Wig and Makeup Reviews. My name is Kristen and today it is Valentine's Day so happy Valentine's to all of my dear friends. I am really excited about this wig review and um, I did have a couple of people asking me if there was a lot of permatees with this wig. I think this is the perfect holiday glam hair and that's why I am filming this video today because I think it's the perfect time to show some beautiful, long, glamorous, sexy hair. And I'm just really excited about this uh, review. This is of Beltress Pure Honey, uh, which is a heat-friendly fiber wig, and it's in the color English Toffee. And English Toffee is a gorgeous, really uh, rich brunette shade that does have just some ever so slightly subtle um, maybe like caramel caramel tones or light brown tones mixed in, but it's a really deep, dark, rich brunette. And I think that all of my brunette fans out there will be in love with this. If you like long hair that's very lush looking and um, has those curls that looks like you took a curling iron to it and just twirled each, each strand of hair around the curling iron, this is perfect. Um, this is like perfect Valentine's Day hair, uh, date night hair, birthday hair, Christmas hair. Uh, this is the kind of holiday hair. Now, this is not an everyday style. I would not wear this on an everyday basis. But I think for that, you know, once once in a while occasion, special occasion, this is the perfect hair because it has um, just such lush curls. And the thing that is so neat about heat-friendly fibers is that it looks so realistic. So not only do you have that beautiful, uh, rich looking fiber, but you also have the realism of each fiber. So that's why I think it's a really special um, hair, uh, especially heat friendly fibers for special occasions and holiday hair. So we're going to jump right into this color. So if you get a look at it, you can see through my ring light and then I've also got, I'm right standing right in front of a window. You can see that there's some caramely tones mixed in. It's not just all a real deep brunette, but it is it does have some caramely tones uh, mixed in, and I love that. And we're going to do a quick spin here so I can show you. As you can tell, so it's it's really pretty straight up here at the top. Um, there's not a lot of permatives. That is the thing with this style. It's pretty flat. I mean, you can, you know, kind of get your hands in there and get some... A little bit of, you know, a little bit of volume, but there's not... I don't feel any... Permatease, maybe just a little bit. Um, but what it does is it's kind of straight here at the top, and then as it gets towards the bottom, you've got all of these beautiful, stunning curls, and I just love it. I just couldn't figure out what was the perfect um, time to wear this. I have a birthday coming up on February 25th, and I'm really excited about that. Um, so I'll probably do a different style for the birthday hair, but I thought this would be perfect. I've got this really cute um, heart top on. I don't know if you can see, but it's got some like sequins here in the middle. I purchased this shirt from a site called Chic Soul, C-H-I-C-S-O-U-L.com. If you have not checked them out, it's a really neat online boutique and they sell all kinds of really cute plus size clothing, um, as well as other sizes as well. So they have all kinds of sizes, all the sizes. Um, but they do also have uh, a lot of plus size, which is really nice if you're looking for cute clothes. Um, so I just wanted to mention that, and I thought this was so cute. I love the arms. It has little sequins on the arms, and it's like a, a sweatshirt style, but I thought it was perfect for Valentine's Day because of the hearts that are on it. So I'm really excited to show you this style. So what we've got going here is a really beautiful lace front. A lot of hair with this wig, so it's kind of hard to, but it's nice, nicely done. I mean, you can see, I've seen better lace fronts, I believe, but I think that with this much hair and the way it lays, you can't really even detect the lace front because of the way that this style lays. But what's beautiful is these luscious curls. So I'm going to go ahead and do a quick spin to show you the length. As you can tell, it's very long in the back. But I love the way these curls cascade. They just, it looks like you truly took a curling iron and curled each strand and each, each fiber. It's really, really luscious. Beautiful, beautiful style. Yeah. 
I love the way these curls look in the back. I just think they're so pretty. Just beautiful the way these curls are. It doesn't get much sexier than this. I think that this is just perfect holiday hair. You know, um, when you want to get dressed up for a special night out, this is perfect for the, that kind of occasion. This is not something you're going to want to wear on the everyday because heat friendly fibers are um, a little bit more difficult to maintain. Um, like I said, what I do is at night I try to condition it so that it's ready to go for the next time I want to wear it. But I just think that this is fantastic. These curls are phenomenal. I don't know if you can tell, but the curls are just... And because it's a heat-friendly fiber, they're so realistic looking. It's just amazing at the realism to this. So impressed by this style. So I'm going to go ahead and take the cap or take the wig off to show you the inside cap construction as well as a closer look at this color. So again, um, this is pretty much right out of the box. I have had this upside down for a while, but I haven't done a whole lot of playing with it. But as you can tell, it's very straight here at the top. Um, you're not going to have a whole lot of curls. The curls start as it gets closer to the bottom of the wig, which really makes it pretty. So right now I'm just kind of getting in there and loosening up those fibers that were kind of crisscrossed here at the front. Like I said, this is pretty much straight out of the box. It's been upside down for a little while. Um, but I love Beltress fibers. Their heat friendly fibers are absolutely beautiful. They're so stunning and so realistic looking that, um, you know, if you can, if you can um, afford to maintain it, it's definitely something to have in your collection is a heat friendly fiber. But look at these curls. Seriously, you guys, look at the curl pattern. See, see what I'm talking about here on the bottom? I mean, it's like literally like you took a curling iron and curled each section. And because it's heat friendly, it just, it looks like beautifully salon, like, like you went to the salon and paid a whole bunch of money for this kind of hair. But I love how it starts out kind of straight, kind of wavy at the top. And then as it gets towards the bottom, it gets more and more of a curl. But as far as permatees, I mean, there is some. So for my permatees lovers out there, which I'm right with you, I love it too. This is kind of what you have to work with. So, you know, as I'm now, now that I'm actually getting my fingers into it and really kind of fluffing it up, I do think that you can really get some volume here at the top. Tammy, I know you were asking me if Pure Honey had permatease, so I'm thinking that's actually a, quite a bit of good amount of volume, considering. There's not a ton, but when you look at it that way, it really does look gorgeous. I know you were asking me about this, Tammy. We were chatting on Messenger last week about Pure Honey, and I hadn't reviewed it yet, and so I was thinking of you, too, when I decided which one I wanted to review today for Valentine's Day. I was just so excited about this style. I've been wanting to wear it for a while and I thought, well, this is the, just the perfect time to do so. But let's go ahead and jump into the inside cap. Um, it's a very well-made cap. There's only one thing that I don't, and it's just a personal opinion, I don't really care for. Um, in the back, we have the bra. We have the extended nape with the bra strap adjusters. The bra strap adjusters are something that I personally don't really care for because I feel like even when I, I have a petite average circumference and even when I cinch them in, um, as I'm putting the, the wig on, it seems like it loses a lot of its shape um, or it becomes looser. I guess that's what I'm trying to say. A lot of times it becomes looser. Um, so that's the only drawback and that's just a personal opinion. Um, the wig in itself is gorgeous. It's just that I wish that I wish that all manufacturers had the Velcro adjusters because those tend to work and stay put. Where, it where for me personally, with these kind of adjusters, once I put the wig on um, and stretch it over my head, it just feels like it becomes loose and I don't feel like it's, it's as secure as it is with the Velcro adjusters. So in this case, it would be one where I'd almost want to consider wearing a wig grip 
with it, where with the Velcro adjuster ones, I never feel the need to actually have to do that. But we do have a beautiful open wefted cap, lots of stretch. I would say it would fit petite average, possibly even large because of these um, extensions. The bra strap extensions definitely give quite a bit more give. Um, and then we've got that fully enclosed mono top and that beautiful lace front. It's a good one to one and a half inch thick lace front, which is nice because you can really do a lot of styling off of the face that way. And then you've got that fully enclosed mono top that you can part any which way, which I love. Um, also, we have the lace enclosed ear tabs that do have a little bit of a bendable stay in it. So it's a very well done cap. Uh, this is a more expensive wig and it's because of the features as well as the fact that there is so much hair involved and the fact that it is heat friendly. Um, my other favorite shade by Beltress is the Butterbeer Blonde. That's my favorite blonde shade in the Beltress line. My favorite blonde shade by Raquel Welch is Shaded Biscuit. I love how neutral and ashy those blondes are. But this is beautiful um, as far as my kind of brunette. This is my pretty much my spot on perfect brunette. You've got, like I said, a little bit of, you've got a lot of richness to this without it being red. And I love the little hints of caramel that are in that, hence the English toffee. But what I, how I've been having it after I got it out of the box in my closet was just hanging it like this upside down and letting those curls just kind of become their own. And like I said, the, the heat friendly fibers can be a little bit more difficult to maintain, but the pro to having a heat friendly fiber is the fact that it's um, a, pretty much as close to human hair, I feel that you can get without actually purchasing human hair. So that's one of the luxuries of the heat friendly style. It really does give you a feeling of human hair. There's just, um, there is such a beauty to the heat friendly fibers because they feel very silky soft. It, there's a difference. Like I noticed that right away the first time I purchased a heat friendly wig was the fact that it's very, it's hard to describe, but there's just a silkiness and a softness to the heat friendly fibers that you don't quite have with the synthetic. Um, however, I do agree. I feel that synthetic fibers are just a little bit easier to maintain uh, with the John Renault Peace Out Cream and the conditioners and the some Simply Stylin. Um, I feel like synthetic wigs um, are very, you know, very simple to maintain as long as you can keep them conditioned. And I try to condition it at least at the end of the night, especially if I've worn it all day. If I've just worn it maybe half the day, I might not do that. I might wear it another time before conditioning it. But if I have worn it more than eight hours, I try to always spray some Simply Stylin or something on it just to keep the ends from getting too frayed and kind of keep that dryness at, at bay. Because I have noticed a lot with the dryness that, um, you know, especially during the winter time, right now with snow on the ground and everything that it does definitely make a difference in the fibers. But I just think this is gorgeous. I think this is a gorgeous piece. I'm very, very happy that I got it. Um, it is a more expensive piece, even with 30% off. Uh, you will pay around 240, usually 230 to 250, depending on the discount. Um, I think I paid around 230 for this, but I think it's well worth it. You know, it's nice to have that um, really glamorous wig that just makes you feel extra special when you put it on. I think that that is so important to us as wig wearers and as women um, to have something that when you put it on, you instantly feel sexy and glamorous, even if it's not a special occasion, even if you just want to feel good. Uh, it's just nice to have that extra special piece in the collection that's a little bit different from the everyday bob that we might wear for chores or for errands. Um, it's just nice to have that. So I, I would encourage everybody, if you haven't had the chance, 
um, to pick up a longer wig or a really glamorous style. Um, it's nice to just have one, even if you just get one, but it's nice to have that for those special days when you just want to really glam up. I think that having extra glam hair along with the makeup and the eye look, it really does make you feel special. It bumps up the confidence factor just a little bit more because it really makes you feel good. And I know that 100% hand tied caps are more expensive and these heat friendly fibers can be more expensive and a little bit more to maintain, but it's worth it just to have that extra feel good in your heart and in your spirit. And this is one of those wigs where I put it on and I just instantly feel so good with wearing it. And it, it also helps having the makeup on. Um, I did this really pretty eye look, which I did do a makeup review on it, but I did this really pretty eye look today for Valentine's Day with the, my Natasha Denona Love palette, which I was kind of on the fence about, but I'm very glad that I picked it up because I love berries and pinks and purples. So if you're a berry fan like me, you would absolutely love that palette. But, you know, combined with a good lip, a good eyeshadow look, and maybe some false eyelashes, and then some really beautiful hair, it just really helps to, to make you feel good about yourself. And I think that that's what's so important, because at the end of the day, you know, it's all about what makes you feel special. And so that's why I think it's very important to, um, you know, have a wig that you really like that makes you feel special. Even if it's just a bob cut, but still it makes you feel special when you wear it. It makes you feel good. And that's the whole importance of wearing wigs. That's what wigs have helped me with so much in my journey is actually being able to put something on and it just transforms my day. Um, I, can, I can wake up and be feeling sad and maybe down and maybe just not... You know, I look in the mirror and I see this hair that I don't like. It's thin. It's not what I want. And then I instantly put on a, a, a wig and it's just like magic. Everything is just pulls together. The look and the makeup. It's like, it is truly like magic, these wigs. And although they are costly and although they've cost a fortune for some of this, I think it's worth it because we only live once and we're not promised tomorrow. And I think that living our best life starts with having the confidence and having the confidence comes from having beautiful hair and makeup and just feeling good about yourself. And for me personally, wigs make me really feel good. Um, it just really transforms. It's a transformation, um, kind of like a butterfly coming from a cocoon into a butterfly and all the beautiful colors that it becomes. I really feel that way with wigs. It, it really transforms our lives and our days and it helps us to face the day a little bit better with a smile on our face and I just I'm so thankful for wigs in my life you know it's something that I never would have ventured into I don't think on my own um, I have two beautiful sisters and they both introduced me to wigs really talked me into it uh, my sister daily dazzle and dawn I give her so much credit because she introduced me to this and showed me what a transformation they can make in my everyday life and I'm so thankful for that because you know, it is not fun to wake up in the morning and just not feel good about yourself and not know what to do. And even when you go to the salon, you know, you just come away feeling like you really didn't get the transformation that you really wanted. And so I think it's just so important to, um, you know, have that wig, no matter how many wigs, those of us that have a large wig collection, those of us that have a small, it doesn't matter as long as those wigs are important and special to you. And when you put it on, it feels like magic and you feel good about it. That's all that really matters because that is how we can live our best life day to day is just by feeling good and looking good. And uh, wigs definitely play a huge factor into that. So this is definitely a wig that I, um, I am really impressed with. I think that it's uh, very good quality and I think that it's just going to be one of those styles that's going to be beautiful for uh, like I said so many special occasions that one might have and I just love it I just love a wig that can really provide uh, glamour when you put it on kind of like a to me this reminds me a lot of you know um, kind of an old Hollywood vibe mixed with modernization too. And it looks really pretty when you put a lot of the hair in the front. It looks gorgeous like that. Or you could sweep it all over to one side and have it like this. Just beautiful. It, it's one of those styles where it's, to me it's like just really timeless glamour. Glamour that doesn't go out of style. 
and then there's a lot of ways you could definitely I think wear it because you can flip the part with this so you can definitely get a lot of va va voom and you know volume here at the top which y'all know I love um, it may take a little bit of working with it to get it to to do that but I can definitely see where you can get some beautiful volume with this. So I'm really enjoying the style. I hope this helps some of you that have been maybe curious about Pure Honey by Bill Tress. I know that this is not a style that has gotten a lot of attention uh, that I'm aware of. There are some reviews, but not a lot. And um, I do know that it's more expensive and it is heat friendly, but I think it's beautiful. If you're looking for a glamorous, longer length wig, um, I also really like the Raquel Welch Downtime uh, wig. So the Downtime and this one are similar. Uh, downtime is very long like this as well and it has cascading curls um, but this is just beautiful and I think it would be gorgeous in Butterbeer Blonde as well so anyway thank you so much for tuning in to my channel today and for watching me and for listening. I love each and every one of you. Um, I'm very excited. I did make it past 400 subscribers. I think I'm around 417 right now. So if you're new, welcome to my channel. Thank you so much for being a part of my world. Thank you for being here and I hope you enjoy and get some inspiration from these wig reviews. Um, I just love sharing uh, the styles, the colors, and my thoughts on them and how I how I enjoy them. So um, again, thank you so much for, for making uh, this a reality and I just hope I can provide to you as much inspiration as possible on your wig journey and how you can best bring confidence and joy to your life through wigs and makeup and just looking beautiful. Um, again, you guys are so special to me. I have met so many wonderful friends through this channel and I wanna thank each and every one of you. Um, if you like this video, don't forget to give me a thumbs up. Also, don't forget to click that red subscribe button down below. If you're not already subscribed to my channel, I do upload wig and makeup reviews on a weekly basis so you don't wanna miss out. Also in the description box, if you click that little down arrow, you will find a link to my eBay store. I post many items that for sale that I'm decluttering as well as wigs that I declutter. You'll also find a link to my sister's channel. It's called Daily Dazzle and Dawn. She has some awesome wig reviews as well. So if you're not already subscribed to her channel, be sure and check that out. And then there's also links to both my Instagram and Facebook page. I'd love for you to follow me on there and join me on this journey of wig wearing. And there's also my email address listed. If you'd like to send me a comment or suggestion, video idea, I'd love to hear from you guys. You guys mean the world to me. I have met such um, a nice family through this channel, a nice you know, friends and family together, and it just really amazes me, and I'm so thankful each and every day for all of you. So again, I hope you have a wonderful Valentine's Day. Spend it with whomever you're with, whether it be your friends, significant other, or family. Um, we all deserve love, and it's the best time of day and year to share that love with everybody that you meet. So I hope that everybody has a fantastic day, a wonderful weekend, and I can't wait to see you in the next video. Bye.